What's up, YouTube? It's Infamous Crew, back at it again. Just thought I'd make another video. This time to help maximize your profit with the Import and Export DLC. The Import and Export DLC is an excellent way to earn some extra funds in GTA Online. However, you must own a CEO office and a special vehicle warehouse. The office garage is not required for making money or selling the vehicles. And you know the funny thing is actually the new vehicles are the new special vehicles are all actually even store are they're all stored in your um vehicle warehouse. So you don't even need the office garage for anything, it's just for looks. All you have to do to start the new missions is go to your office and go to your computer, click vehicle cargo, and click source vehicle. Um, the special cargo is an entirely different category and warehouse, so yeah, keep that in mind. Most of the time, sourcing the vehicle is relatively easy. However, you can expect some resistance. There'll be different scenarios. Uh, you, sometimes it will send you to like a racetrack to intercept a vehicle. Sometimes it will send you to the drug dealer's house to get it. One time I had to airlift it with a cargo bob off a shipping container in the ocean so yeah there's different scenarios what i like to do if the car is out in traffic is just wait for them to come to a stop sign or stoplight and pull them out before any shots are even fired because any damage done to the vehicle is coming out of your check so keep that in mind too the high-end vehicles, when you sell them, they're usually worth like 160k, but then there's like 40k that you put into it and upgrades, so usually netting like 120k per deal on the high-end vehicles. Those are the most valuable vehicles. So if you can get more people in your organization, because you need uh, one driver per car, so if you can get four people in your organization and then you sell four cars, that's $400,000 every 30 minutes, because you can sell every 30 minutes. So this is a really great way to actually earn. This is actually a really great way to earn money. Right here is how I showed how I waited for him to come to a stoplight and just pulled him out and see there's no damage done. This is where you have to go to the mansion and um, they tell you to be silent. So you want to use a suppressor on your weapon and that really helps. Once you get the vehicle, you have to worry about other players in the session coming for you because they can actually put the vehicle in their garage they can steal the vehicle from you. They can blow it up. Um, so yeah, public sessions with a lot of players are, n are not good <laughs> for this activity, for this new work. The collection vehicles, there are, per there are a particular set of vehicles that you can sell as a group for a profit. The profit's usually 35K to 50K. Uh, let's see here Right here shows where I um, had to steal this car from the police I tried to not do damage to the car, but sometimes you know, you just got to I think I didn't really do anything but shoot out the window and the cop shot out the taillight. That's funny <laughs> And um, here Let's see what I, oh yeah here you the photographer you have to get it from a photographer Yeah, these missions are pretty fun. Just the fact that, like, you're making money, and they're also fun. Like, the money is not even the entire reason I do them. You can also cargo bob the vehicle out of the area, too, that you can also use a cargo bob. And you also want to have some players helping you, because... Helping you, like, defend you, because... Like I said, these other players are ridiculous. Like, they'll just blow you up just to blow you up. This is one of the ones where I had to get the cargo bob for it. But yeah, um,
right here is where you have to go to the shipping container and airlift it. I got a friend sitting here in the um, passenger side. He's machine gunning him. Light machine gun. So yeah, my main tips are like, when you get the vehicle, not to damage it. Uh, my main tip for not damaging it is you can either not shoot at it, try to stop it by not shooting at it, like using, letting, let, let them stop at a stoplight, or if, if you, there's a driver, or make sure you have somebody experienced driving the vehicle once you guys get it, too, because if you, you don't want to take too much damage on the vehicle, because you could actually do more damage than profit on the vehicle. So be very careful with that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that. Um, be on the lookout too. I'm gonna make more. I'm about to make some more videos too. Of the skyline. Uh, leave any comments if you have any questions. Shouts out to all my people. You know who you are.